how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Metroid Other M, and here we are in part 8. Uh, part 7 was a colossal failure. I did absolutely nothing. And in part 8, things will happen. Progress will be made, and I will make it to a new point. Why, you ask? Why, you ask? Because I didn't want another repeat of part 7. So... I did some stuff. And I found some stuff out. And now I know that this little hole thing, you can actually do that! Oh my god, we're going to where we gotta go! Oh, look at that! Woohoo! Oh my god. We're only one minute into part eight. And I've already made progress. My promise has been fulfilled! Yay! Now I'm gonna get stuck again. No, I'm... I'm good. One little hook up here and there. One little hang up, you know. After all, all I do with myself is play games, work and play games, play games, work. And in my spare time, here I am making videos of well, at the moment, this. All right. Either way, I've already made progress, so hopefully I can continue forth and make said progress and actually do something in this part and future parts. <laughs> I love that auto-dodge feature mechanic, though. That is, that is one cool thing. Not solely because of its auto-dodge, and yeah, it makes everything easier. But the animation and the functionality of it and how it works, it actually looks really, really cool. And that's something that I can actually imagine Samus Aran doing. You know? Ooh, it's one of them things. That's not good. That's not good. Jump and dodge and jump and dodge and roll. Uh, uh, uh. See? Auto dodge. And there we go. And I got you. Choo, 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 choo. No, no, no. Uh. He's like a little ninja! Come on, uh, roll and jump and bounce and roll and jump and bounce and. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, no. Going, going, oh. This dude is like an evil ninja! He keeps going underground and then. Uh, no. Auto dodge, auto dodge, auto dodge. Woo, woo, woo. This is a very small area to be doing this fight in. Uh, okay. And you did! I got him. It's all good. And the door's open. Alright, the biological experiment floor. What? The biological experiment floor? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, and finally they kick in music. Thank you! Eight parts in and they finally kick in like a decent song. Yes, okay, okay. I, right now, I am ecstatic. I am happy that they've actually kicked in a decent song. And what is this thing doing? I can't kill it. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing too. Uh, can I jump past it? Oh, fuck. Okay. Like I've said in previous parts though, that one of the strong suits of the Metroid universe is that the music, the soundtracks for these video games, it, they're they're amazing, especially from the Prime trilogy, even all the way back to the you know the old classics. I mean, I even love the music from um, Super Metroid Fusion. I mean, all those, the older ones. Ah, oh, I can kill them with the rockets. Okay, I can kill them with rockets, and lucky for me, I have infinite missiles. <laughs> all right, I learned something. Seen. At least this song too, it's got like that Metroid-y feel. Like there's some effects being used. It's not just, you know, way earlier when I first started this and I was like in one of my first battle encounters. It's like, like the most flat, monotone, stereotypical battle music ever in video game history. Like battle music in video games, you know, you know, just no. 
one of the strong suits of the Metroid universe has always been the soundtracks. And this woo! Jumped into a hole. I'm in a hole. Oh, it's one of these first person things where I have to find something to examine. Alright. Alright, what am I examining? Alright, frame by frame. Alright, I'm not seeing... Oh, that's something to examine right there. The big purple thing that I fell through. That could be important. <laughs> um, is what I have to look at supposed to be highlighted or something? I'm not necessarily sure what I'm supposed to be looking at, and I have no idea. No, I don't think it's highlighted because the first time I used this thing, this first person, you're supposed to find. Well, this is the third time, but the first time and the second time, there was nothing highlighted. It was basically one big crapshoot, just kind of looking around and, you know, maybe you'll get lucky! <laughs> no, no. Uh, lucky for me? No. No, no, no. Okay. There's, um, nothing. That's a rock, and that's. That's another rock. That's the ground. There's some blue glowy things. That's a locked door. That's a rock. And, um, what am I supposed to be looking for? <sighs> oh, man. Um. That's the big purple thing in the sky. Those are those little flower pods that I saw earlier. So I'm guessing sometime those are going to come alive and try and eat my face. But in order for me to do anything, I have to first trigger whatever I'm supposed to trigger. Um. Um. What are those? Oh my god, are you serious? Those little fucking things that I've passed over like four times? Ah, it's a cutscene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're out of the cutscene. We're out of the cutscene. Giant robotic cicadas from hell. No, 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 no. Okay, run and gun. Run and gun. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, they're hitting me, and now I'm getting eaten. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I have, like, no energy already? Okay, stop auto locking. <gasps> What'd I do? I did something. I'm just running around hitting A. Did I activate something? Uh, 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 no, uh, uh, uh. Jump, 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 run, run. Don't lock onto the flowers. You can only kill them with missiles, and there's no way I'm entering FPS right now. There are too many things. And I did it again. Maybe it's that weird attack where, like, you run up to something and it's, um, it's, uh. Ah! Samus, what's going on? I just got violated by a bunch of robotic cicadas. That's what's going on. Uh, game over, continue, yes. Alright, here I go. Now I've got full energy, full everything. I'm ready to go. And, ah! Uh, I was gonna use the skater shot, but then it activated whatever the hell that was. There we go. And yes, I have finally figured out the usefulness of the scatter shot. Uh, scatter charge beam or whatever whatever the thing is called. Diffusion beam. It's a pretty odd name for it. Diffusion beam. It's a scatter beam. Scatter shot. I mean not to quote other games, but you know. Ooh! Okay, now see, see? See? Those little flower pods that I said we're gonna open up and try and eat my face later? This is that time. This is later. 
And now, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Okay, lock on. Boom! Oh, I get it, I get it, okay. So, for every little flower pot thing we blow up, it takes out one of the tentacles, leading to the giant purple fruit hive. Oh, shit! Is this a boss battle? I'm trying to figure out if this is a boss battle or not, because the last... Apparently I've been in, like, a couple boss battles, and I didn't even know there were boss battles. Because normally when you have a boss, you know, a, a, a health bar pops up and it says the name of the boss, and it's like, hey, in your face, this is a boss battle. You can't not know this is a boss battle. But so far in this game, it's just like the bosses appear like normal enemies, and they're like, hey, maybe this could be a boss battle, maybe this could be a standard enemy. You'll never know. Go and look it up later. One thing I will say though is the, uh, this, the scatter shot. Scatter shot. The diffusion beam. Try and keep my video game logic correct here. My uh, my diffusion beam. This thing is coming in handy though, now that I actually am using it successfully and not not using it like an idiot. For real? That better not have been a boss battle. What is that thing? Okay. Alright, there's no way I can attack the thing the thing in front of it, so I gotta get rid of them first. Diffuse! Diffuse! Woohoo! I got him. Now I can, uh... Ooh. Yep, there we go. Missile time! And now they're back. Alright, so I can get like two or three missiles and wave of enemies. That's not too Not too bad. Alright, more running and I uh, did I get them all? Yes I got them all. First person! Two, three, oh, there we go, there's the first. What the hell are you? You have to come. Some creatures use the powers of others to capture their prey. Watching this disgusting beast, I felt as though it was feeding off my power as well. At the same time, a thought crossed my mind. That howl I heard earlier. Could this creature have been the source? Samus, head to the biosphere test area in your current sector. There should be some important information about this facility in that exam center. The other members are en route. Quickly, go meet them there. Alright, thanks for the update, Adam. That little white... Th oh, the door's locked. Come on. Anyways. I successfully completed a boss battle without dying 80 bajillion times, and you know... Um having my brain malfunction, so that, that's a good thing. And I can't kill those guys, okay. But yeah, that little white thing. That little white dude, yeah, he, he's cute in an evil kind of way. But something that I'm kind of thinking is that that little thing, whatever it is, is inherently evil. I don't know. I'm intrigued by this thing. And honestly, so far, I think one of the coolest parts of this game is that little white creature. The little white fluffy evil thing that howls in the night and feeds off my kills like a parasite. I have been talking with one of my friends about, you know, what exactly is going on, you know, and... I can't really talk about, you know, like, certain things, because he knows what happens, and I don't. And I want to keep, you know, the blind 
authenticity of this let's play. But I want to know! But I don't want to know! Because... Blind! Ah, my pain! It's like, my, my, my thoughts and opinions on this, you know, game as, you know, a singular, you know, just this game, don't really matter a whole lot. You know, those are just my personal opinions. However, even if I love this game or hate this game, and I'm not thinking I'm going to love it or hate it either way, like, as of right now, I'm 50-50, and I think, I'm pretty sure that by the time I actually finish this, I'm probably just going to be like, you know, oh, that was... Eh. <laughs> but, um, regardless of whether I love it or hate it, or in between, I'm still going to be interested in, you know, the plot and lore of this game. You know, if I, no matter how I feel about it, I want to know, you know, what's going on, considering this is a Metroid game, and, I mean, yeah, so far, the, yeah, so far, kind of, eh, but, uh, either way, I am quite interested, and why am I in the water? I'm probably going to need, like, the gravity suit or something, so, I don't know, is a gravity suit even in this game? It's usually what you need for water. But uh, until then, I'm gonna say nip and uh, <laughs> forget this. I'm gonna go the other way. But yeah, I am quite interested in you know the plot and story of this game and how it all unfolds, regardless of my feelings on this you know singular title in the Metroid universe. And why did I do that? Please tell me I can turn it back on. Give me the bridge! Thank you! Alright, I got the bridge back. I really thought I screwed myself there, and I was like, SHIT! <laughs> but no, I'm all good. I'm all good. Everything's all good. I'm fine. Uh, la, 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 la. Alright, what is this? Alright, that's... We got a room with a locked door, and there is nothing to scan. Nothing to even look at. But that door is still locked. It must open automatically at some point, be considering there is no lock on the actual door via a super missile or something of the no uh, something of the sort. But uh, just watch a few more parts into this. Adam's right. I'm going to be like, Samus, I'm finally opening the door. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Could happen. It happened before. Pass by a door and gotta go on some big loop-de-loop -loop for no point whatsoever. Just for to come back later and then go, I'm finally opening the door, Samus. So, thanks. I appreciate your assistance. Running and gunning and jumping and jumping and running and now I'm gonna go into this thing. Watch out! All right, yeah. The other way that I went, apparently there's nothing to do in there. It's just a dead end. So I guess um, I guess I have to go through the water. Hopefully I don't get to the end and it's like, <laughs> you need a suit. Because then I'm gonna be like, what? How do? Vile fish. I can't remember the names of those either, but I know I'm pretty sure they were in previous Metro games as well. I know they were at least in um, Prime One, I think. I don't know. But there's a thing that I can do nothing about because I'm in the water and I have no jumping skills. And everybody knows that without the gravity suit. Water is Samus's number one enemy. <laughs> All right, there we go. Charge, no. Diffusion beam for the win. What does this thing do? Oh, it's one of those um little charge thing you can use. There we go. And I turn that thing on and. That thing has a grabbable ledge, so... Woohoo! What does that require? Uh, 
Speed booster? Speed booster. Okay, speed booster. Clearly something that I don't have. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I don't have. I'm in section one and don't have the grapple beam, don't have super missiles, don't have power bomb, or... I don't know if I have power bombs or I'm just not authorized to use power bombs. I'm still kind of sketchy on the whole thing. But, uh, yeah. Who knows? But, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, end this part right here. So, thanks for watching part eight, and until next time in part nine of Metroid.